Okay, so I'm going to preface this by saying that I'm a massive geek when it comes to tape. Um, so one of the things I'm going to do right now, I didn't actually plan to make this video until half an hour ago, is um, I am planning on selling this camera. Also, I need to make some money for rent. This is a... Um, Kanika Big Mini, for some reason these are really popular, but um, I have a habit of finding things like this in second-hand stores. Uh, so this is in really nice condition. So basically it has all the functionality, it's in good neck. Um, internally it's nice, but the person who had it before me has decided to put this sticky tape over the uh, rewind um, and that's an absolutely horrible thing to do if you want to sell something because it makes it look like it's broken and to make it even worse this stuff here just turns it into awful sticky shit. So I'm using cooking oil, basically that's my secret weapon for getting rid of this stuff. So this is my special and um, how do you remove tape from stuff? just comes off. And then glass cleaner. Don't even know what brand this is, so I buy the cheapest one that I can get. This is just to get that oil off. And that's the residue of that gone. Okay, and it gets worse. Because <coughs> of course I did tape up my, what are we, 30 foot XLR cable, which I haven't had to use in, I don't know, 8 months, because I haven't been doing sound recording books. I've only been using the 1 meter long ones. And there's lots of people who say to use WD-40, and um, it's actually a really bad move, because it... Uh, eats your cables and it eats the heads of the cables and just to be really fun it eats your insulation it's, it's a really bad idea to use that stuff especially when you can just use cooking oil which costs about I don't know one tenth as much and that's shockingly bad for you. 